That's my little review on the new LA Colors revamped slash reformulated products at Dollar Tree. So they reformulated their highlighter, their eyeshadow, pretty much everything in the LA Colors makeup line. And I'm super excited because I got majority of it. Well, let's start off with the brow pencil. They had different shades and I picked up the dark brown, but they also had black and like blonde and brunette. So this has just a regular end and then it has a spoolie. We're gonna take the brow pencil. My brows are a little messy. I have pretty sparse eyebrows, so not the best. I'm gonna zoom y'all's in a little so that way you can, hello. We're close up. So let me do a little test first. Do it. Okay, so she is a little dry, but that could be beneficial when it comes to the brows because you don't want necessarily something super creamy because it can glide off unless it, you know, has some stain power. It's Dollar Tree LA Colors, so I don't expect a whole lot out of it. It is pretty dry, I will say. So that's kind of like a quick sweep with it. And here's my other brow. So as you can see, it did a pretty good job. I wonder in terms of longevity, like how it will hold because it is a little dry. So I think it would like do a decent job. Okay, so this is what the brows are looking like right now. Overall, I'm gonna say that it is pretty easy to use. It's not super creamy or anything. It's nothing like out of this world that you absolutely need. But if you're in need of a brow pencil, maybe you're like traveling and it's last minute or you forgot yours, then definitely pick this up. It's gonna do the job. As you can see, it did a pretty good job at my brows. And filling them in. It might be a little harsh if you have sensitive skin, so keep that in mind, but overall for $1.25, I think it's worth a shot. And it comes with a spoolie. Next up, I have two options for eyeshadows. Okay, so this is what the eyeshadow pans are looking like. Oh my god, let me try not to blind y'all. So this is the first eyeshadow palette. As you can see, it's pretty neutral, and it has this gorgeous shimmery shade right here in the corner, but it has like four mattes and two shimmers. And then this one is definitely more neutral. It has like just three shades. As you can see, it's a pretty neutral palette. They did have a bunch of colors in both um, eyeshadow palettes. And I'm gonna insert some of the footage here. They all came with this little thing, but I find this annoying. I decided I'm gonna do one eye with the P. Louise primer, so that way y'all can see how it works with the base. And then the other eye I'm gonna do naked, so that way you can see how it works without the base. So I'm just gonna be using a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is from Shop Miss A. I love their eyeshadow brushes. And I'm gonna be dipping into that darker brown in this palette. By the way, this palette is Tumbleweed, and the six pan palette, if you like this one, it's in the shade Almost Nude, so pretty good names. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip into that brown. Oh, and it's super pigmented. And let my camera focus. Oh, that's natural. That is pretty natural. I'm looking at myself through the viewfinder. And wow, it's giving me dimension. You know, some of the older LA Colors eyeshadows, they would kind of suck in terms of pigmentation. So I'm actually pretty impressed right now. I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. This is just gonna be a really basic look. Like I'm not going for anything crazy. I just wanna show y'all how well or how bad these products work. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed right now. The fact that they're showing up, I feel like other eyeshadows from LA Colors in the past have not been very well pigmented and they would just like disappear or become muddy on the skin. So these are pretty, nice for what they are like if you're in a pinch and you absolutely need eyeshadow or something like these would work it has a good shimmer now, now i'm gonna do the other eye but i'm gonna do it with base so let me go put that base on before i forget i'm just gonna go in with shade from this um from this trio just like so and that brightened the eye i'm gonna take that brown and i'm gonna place the shadow right there Whoo! i can already tell that primer is making a difference and you can use concealer as well. You don't have to use the P. Louise. Wow, that in itself made a huge impact already. Now I'm gonna take the shimmery shade from the palette and place it where I place the other eyeshadow. Oh yeah, that is nice. To be honest, I wish the shimmer would pop out a little bit more. With a glitter base, it might pop out a little bit more. And that is it for the eyes. And I'm sure a lot of you already know about the infamous lashes from Ioni at Dollar Tree. They're amazing, they're great. For $1.25, you cannot go wrong. So let me go ahead and put them on. These are in natural light wispies. All right, you guys, so the eyes are complete. As you can see, they look pretty good. Apply some foundation, some concealer, and we have this. Let's move on to the hydrating lipstick and the contour stick so they just look like yay and i've tried the contour sticks before i'm gonna tell y'all right now i was not really impressed it was more orange based on me and i hate like super orange based bronzers because they just look so muddy and nasty on me so really excited to try this one out so let's just go ahead and swatch it Ooh, this one's really creamy really really creamy do you see how that glides on this is actually a really beautiful shade i feel like you could use this on your lips i'm just gonna start off like yay and i'm no expert at bronzing y'all but this is blending in pretty nicely i would say what okay that gave me a nice little natural 
like look to it. I try to do my forehead just because I've seen other people do it here. I'm not a master of contouring or anything like that. So this is really just like, we're both learning sis, okay? Okay. But this is blending out pretty nicely, I would say. Like it gives you the most subtle bronze. It's nothing crazy. I think you could probably build it up. Like see over here, I added a little more. I do like this. Hmm, add a little more to both sides. Like it adds enough dimension, you know? And for a dollar twenty-five, oh my gosh. And it doesn't make me look like super orange or anything like that. I like this. I hope the lighting is picking it up and like doing it justice. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I feel like it added a nice warm glow. Let me try to contour my nose. Is that a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. We're just experimenting at this point because yeah. I think I just made my nose darker. <laughs> you know, we're trying. Yeah, I think I made my nose darker. Oh well. I actually really like this product. I'm gonna have to play with it more and just learn how to bronze a little bit better. So this product you can twist up and that's as much product as you're gonna get. So next up we're gonna move on to the hydrating lipstick. It just looks like yay. In the shade Perfectionist. To take that brow pencil that we use on the on the lids, what? On the brows. And I'm just gonna outline my lip oh, very so slightly. I did overline a little bit. Ooh, that is creamy. Look at that shade. Nice. Oh, that smells nice too. Just blend it out. Wow, that is a nice shade. Look at that. I typically don't like these types of shades. So these are the lips. Oh my gosh. I, I like the formulation. When you inhale, it does taste a little bit like those old school lipsticks, but it's not too crazy. But overall, the formula itself is actually really smooth, really creamy, it glided on pretty well. And just look at the slight sheen. My lips look moisturized. Yeah, I like this. Applying some of this on my cheeks like blush. And look at that nice glow. That like pigmentation, I love it. So like if you're in a rush, you know, you could just apply some lipstick. So this is my face right now. This is definitely zoomed in, as you can tell. I am so satisfied with these products. So I'm gonna just wrap this up. And as you can see, the evidence is on my face. These products are really, really good. I'm highly impressed. Honestly, my favorite products have to be absolutely the lipstick because I can use it also as a blush. And I'm just loving the shade on me, honestly. Ah! The eyeshadow is pretty good. I wanna experiment a little bit more with the shadow pans. They are definitely pigmented. I want to pick up some other shades. And then um, the highlighter I know is gonna be bomb. I already tested it out. I'm going to leave my little TikTok video about like swatching it and stuff. So if you haven't followed me on TikTok, definitely go and check out because I do reviews on there too. I am so excited to use all of these products. These are really like everyday products. They just look so good. So specifically just going through the products, the eyebrow pencil, it's not something to die for, but it does the job. So if you're in a bind and you need an eyebrow pencil, then the LA Colors Contour Stick. This was really, really nice. I'm super impressed that it wasn't like super orange on my skin. I'm more of a tan. Right now I'm my lightest shade, but I am pretty tan. Lights just kind of wash me out a tad bit. And press this showed up and it blended very effortlessly. It created a nice little contour that's not too much. I think this is definitely great also for my beginners or people that just don't like a whole lot of uh, visible makeup. Like you just like a little bit of it. That makes sense. And it's a twist up. For $1.25 you get a good product. And I do like this. I will repurchase this one. Oh and it's super creamy. It blends out. Uh, what else can I say about it? Of course these eyeshadows are really really good for what you pay for. I'm actually really Really impressed that they even showed up honestly because in the past like I mentioned I've had just troubles with pigmentation these shades came through as you can tell the brown did a great job of contouring my eyes this one's really good as well the shimmers are really really nice they're not too much but they will open up your eyes some makeup really is enhancing your natural beauty so I think these do just that I'm definitely gonna pick up more shades in the lipstick I just love this lipstick so much and that lipstick taste did go away I hope y'all enjoyed this video let me know what y'all want to see make sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube so you can see more because I'm gonna try to do more videos. I got a lot of stuff. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!